nothing hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel um the other day oh well a year ago or so i'm um, basically i done a video on how to diagnose your if your alternator is working or not today i'm going to do something different we're going to be testing the battery and then i'm going to be replacing the battery anyway i know it's shot but i'm just going to show you how you can see whether or not your battery is down or if it's your alternator and we'll just run through that again and then i'll just show you changing the battery of my nx5 so basically every time i come to the car i'm going to need to sort of jump start it there's no juice in it so all the lights come on but if i turn the key nothing so turn the key nothing so what i do is i'll go to the boot and then we will check the battery voltage so basically i've already took everything out of here and because i tried charging the battery but it didn't work so basically what we'll do is we'll check the battery voltage with the voltmeter so we're going to turn the voltmeter on to 20 and we're just going to check the volts so red to red black to black red is on that side black is on this side that's that one there and they're both touching and that's telling me i've got 9.62 volts on the battery which in theory is holding but is very low i've already tried charging this but it's not holding any charge um it, it drains it past a certain point so basically we're on 9.63 and it's not got enough juice to start the car so it should in theory be holding 12 volts because it's a 12 volt battery obviously you can see it there it says 12v that's what it should be holding but yeah so basically the battery is a bit broke so what we do we'll give it a quick jump start so i'm going to start using my jump pack turn that on black to black and red to red so that's giving it some charge and then we'll just turn the key it starts perfectly fine and what we're going to do now is check the battery voltage again so we'll disconnect to turn this off disconnect disconnect turn this back to 20 and now now that the car started in theory if the alternator is working it should be 14 volts or more about 14 volts so that's connected there you go 14.9 so we know our alternator in the car is very healthy it's doing what it should be doing because it's charging i'll disconnect it all well i'll turn it off and see if it starts again one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And it's dead again. So we'll come back to here, turn this back on. So we know the alternator is working. So if I put that one in there. So look, battery's slowly coming down 9.94, 9.3. You can see it's slowly coming down. It comes back down to about, I think, 9.6 it was first. Um, so yeah, we know the battery is draining itself. So what we're going to do, I bought a new battery. Um, we'll do the same test again. Here's the new battery I bought. Here's the red. We we'll put the red to red and then put the black to black. There you go. This brand new breath battery. And you can see it's holding 12 volts as it should be. Um, so, yeah, this battery is obviously brand new. So, this is going in and that one there is coming out. But, yeah, simple test you can do with a voltmeter. Um, yeah, that, that's told me my alternator is perfectly fine and is that which is at fault. So we'll be getting rid of that and then putting the new battery in. To remove the battery um, terminals, we're going to need a 10mm spanner to remove that nut there and that nut there. So yeah. Close that one off. And then just carry on taking this one off. There you go, that's that one off as well. And then, um, yeah. So that one, that one, we just put these on here for a minute. So that's the battery in position now. And then what we can do now is connect it all up. So I put the battery in, that's all tightened up. And now there was this bracket to hold the battery in place. This battery is a lot wider than the one that was in here first. Um, yeah, this clamp is a little bit too big for it, but we're just gonna mount it down as much as we can. This battery seems to be a bit wider. And yeah, just tighten up that one with a 12 mil. Banner. There you go, that's as tight as it is, you don't want to overdo it. But yeah, that's it, new batteries in.
while I'm still here, I'm just going to quickly um, check the voltage again. That one in there. So yeah, we know it's a healthy 12. But yeah, battery voltage hasn't dropped or anything since when we tested it first. And yeah, we'll just start it up and see what it's like after. And then turn the key. First time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Again, like before, when the car was running, I tested the voltage just to see if the old air is working. Obviously, we know it is, but just a quick test. There you go, we're still on 14.9, exactly the same as before. So, alternator is doing exactly what it should be doing. And then we'll turn the car off, just check again. So, one last check. Red in red. Black in black. And there you go, it's still, it's obviously going to come down to about 12 point something because obviously it's just been charged by the alternator. It's not like the last battery which dropped straight down all the way to 9, pretty much straight away. So yeah, we'll see it level out now. Last time it was on 12.5, so we're basically just going to watch it level out. So yeah, it's been a couple of minutes now and it's back down to 12.55. Five four, <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't seem to be fluctuating anymore. It seems to be sat at that level ish now. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. The battery was at full. The last battery, sorry. And yeah, that's out. Obviously, you can see it was a lot narrower the last one. But oh well, it's done now. It was a brand new battery as well, 18th, and I bought it um yesterday, which was the 29th of December. So that's 18 December 2021, and I bought it on the 30th. So that's based genuinely brand new. But yeah, cool. So I'll take this off now. I'm happy with that. Put this back on. And yeah, happy days. So yeah, that was that. So basically, to diagnose your battery, all it was, check the voltage of before. Um, we know it was on 9 volts, so that's low. So that might have just been... A low battery i've already tried charging trickle charging the battery overnight it charges up perfectly fine as soon as i took the charger off it's it's i, I literally watched the um thingy drain the voltage in the battery drain so that's why i went and got the new battery um but yeah so on idle as i showed you before um as in when your car is turned off it should be on 12 volts and when you start the car it should be on 14 or so and yeah, that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know um, what sort of videos you want to see on the channel. And then yeah, just like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, see you in the next one.